In this video, we're talking about area of regular polygons. This uh, corresponds to section 8.3 in geometry. So uh, let's uh, take a flashback here and talk about what is a regular polygon. So if you recall, a regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. So remember equilateral means all the sides are congruent and equiangular means all the angles are congruent. So let's take a look at how we're going to figure out what the area is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the center. So we have the center. And then I'm going to draw in, these are called radii. You can have radii of a regular polygon. So we connect the center to vertices of the regular polygon and you form radii. And then I'm going to draw in a height over here. All right, and we're going to give this a special name later. So instead of calling it H, I'm going to call it A and I'm going to let each side of this regular polygon be S. So based on how I have my diagram labeled, if I wanted to find the area of the triangle here, it would be base times height. So the base is S and the height is A. So that would be S times A divided by 2. So that would just be the area of this one triangle here. And if I was going to go ahead and draw in the rest of the radii, in this particular figure, I would have six of these triangles. So if I multiplied the area of this triangle by six, I would get the area of the whole polygon. But let's say our polygon has n sides. If it had n sides, we would have n triangles. Okay, so just like this one where it had six sides, so I divided it into six triangles. If it had n sides, so this is a little abstract, which is why it's sometimes confusing. So now if it had n triangles, we would take the area of one triangle and multiply it by n to get the area of the whole polygon. So area of an n-sided polygon would be A times S divided by 2. I just switched the A and the S. doesn't really matter what order you put it in. Times the number of triangles that we would have. Or we could write this as A times S times N divided by 2. Remember the A times S divided by 2. That's just the area of one triangle. Multiply it by how many triangles there are. And you would get the area of the whole polygon. All right, so we'll come back to that in a minute. Now let's talk about apothem or apothem. I've heard it pronounced both ways. So I'm going to start at the center again, and I'm going to draw in this segment that goes to the midpoint of one of the sides, and it's also going to be perpendicular. So this is a segment drawn from the center of a regular polygon to the midpoint of a side. And we're going to need this when we start calculating areas. So 
Based on what we've just done, the area of a regular polygon, the area formula for a regular polygon is A times S times N, ASN divided by 2, alright, so area equals, so A is the area, lowercase a is the apothem, S is the side length, and N is the number of sides. All right, so you got to have to keep track of what all these variables stand for, uh, so make sure you know those. Now, one thing that we can see here is if I take N times S, the number of sides times the length of each side, that gives me the perimeter. So I can replace N times S with the perimeter, in which case our formula would be the area of our regular polygon is apothem times perimeter over 2. Now most of the time we'll just use this formula ASN over 2 but once in a while if you're given the perimeter in a problem then you're going to use this formula. Alright so that's going to be it for uh, this video. If you um, need to review anything feel free to re-watch re or rewind and make sure you get your questions answered, and we will see you in the next video.